Okay, welcome to this review of the FTSE expiry trade on Friday. Uh, this was the 16th of July. So expiry sets up every month. It's the third Friday of the calendar month. Um, and uh, it, it sets up at 10 past 10 UK time, 10 past 10 UK time on the FTSE 100 um, index. It lasts five minutes. Now, there is a high probability system trade that we use for this particular event, but that's not what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about what happens after expiry in the markets. Now, often if the market has been consolidating in a range, there hasn't been much clear direction. After expiry comes in, which is when the options expire, you can see the market start to break out of a consolidation period and start moving. So on Friday, we had the expiry candle here. This is the five minute chart. And we'll see that we got some movement up, didn't trigger us into a system trade, but some movement up and it failed right at a level at 7060. Now, we've been looking uh, to sell the FTSE for a number of weeks now, we, we've been anticipating a move down to 6,800, and um, we're well on the way to that at the moment. Uh, and we will cover that in a second. But on Friday, what happened? If uh, if you were in the live room, you would have joined us anyway. But if you're not part of the Magnetic Services, what we said is that the price action had come up to a key resistance level, and it had failed. Now, given that the knowledge that we know that once expiry is out of the way, the markets can break out and resume their trend, this can represent a very low risk opportunity to trade with extremely high rewards. So for this particular trade, once expiry was over, we were saying in the live room that, look, you can get you can put in a sell um, because the markets failed at. 7060. So we had the we, the first ingredient is we had the resistance area at 7060. The second ingredient is that we were bearish on the market anyway. Um, we were anticipating a move down. The indicators were on our long term charts were, were were telling us that the market is going to sell off. So we know that after expiry happens, that is when the markets can resume and break out of this consolidation trend. So that's what we did. We got our clients short around the 7050 mark. They had a stop above these highs and we've been targeting 6800. So what you'll see in the price action is, I mean, we've also got the go zone assistant. So this again is, is indicating sell trades. As soon as you get a red box, you're selling it. Once it comes out of the box, you close it. But, you know, if you keep getting the sell, box, uh, sell boxes, you keep doing that. But many, many sell trades, you could have gone here. We're not doing any of the buys at the moment. Um, but you can see that there's been some very healthy profits to be made on the FTSE. It's, it's broken down considerably. We're now trading near the 6,900 level, expecting this to go to 6,800. Um, now you'll see here that the trading assistant here is put in a sell this morning. It came out of it near 6,900. But again, if this puts another sell trade in the market and we break below 6,900, that's another reason to be getting into a sell trade today. So the knowledge I want you to take away today is that keep an eye on the action on the third Friday of every calendar month on the FTSE 100. At 10 past 10, look to see what happens and uh, you can get in some very, very lucrative trades with tight stops and big profit targets. Um, if you're part of our services, you'll, you'll know that we give you the, the direction every day anyway of where we're expecting the markets to go. On the screen, you'll see that this is the magnetic trading assistant. This is giving you sell and buys. At the moment, we're only looking for sales today. We would not look at any buys. So any green boxes today, we're not participating in. But we've told our clients that should there be any uh, sell uh, trades that trigger, uh, the red box will form and they can continue selling for the day. Eventual target is 6,800 on 
the FTSE 100. So just coming back to uh, screen, I just pause the action for a moment and you will see now that we um, we have broken 6900 again. So we're getting this red box form. And again, this is now creating a cell on the magnetic trading assistant. Once this triggers, which is doing just about now, the target will be at 6800. So we'll pause this and we'll come back. All right, so we're back at the screen now and you can see that FTSE um, pushing down lower. Um, it's, it's taken out that 6900 level and we have been getting sell signals on the trading system with, and, and, and FTSE moving down. I, I expect to see 6800 and maybe lower by the end of the day um, and we will we'll then resume tomorrow and see and see where we are. Look guys, hope you found that interesting. Have a great week. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, mark at magnetictrading.com and um, I will endeavor to get an answer back to you.